What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dolce Nose. And as you can see by the title of this video, Don't Squat. I really mean, you don't know fucking squat if you're not squatting. Now, I just got home from the gym and I was so fired up, I had to film this video for you to teach you the tools of the trade and really to not be a tool of the gym. I got there squat night. I'm traveling tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, travel Monday morning. Normally I've been squatting on Monday because that's when I have the most energy. I want to bang hard squat sessions and really grow. I'm in a growth phase right now, trying to get fucking jacked. 212 pounds, 10% body fat, just got it all tested today, working on my mass building book for all you people out there, boys and girls, don't matter, young and old, but anyway, I digress. Traveling tomorrow, big busy week, doing the Joe Rogan Show on Monday, September 8th, so be, tu be sure to tune in to the Joe Rogan Experience and hear me spit some knowledge with Joe, talking weight cutting and all the other good stuff. But anyway, back to tonight, Sunday, late night workout, into bang it, and I get my work in, I get my squats in, and what happens? I see a couple tools floating around the gym. What are they doing? They're on their phones. That's right, Blackberry. They're on their phones, not working hard, using the equipment as sofas, watching TV. Come on, guys. Don't go to the gym if you're not there to train. Don't waste your time if you're not there to train, go do something else. Go read a book, go watch TV, go hang out with your family. Don't go to the gym if you're not there to train. Do I need to say that again? Especially when I'm there because you piss me off. If you go to the gym, you got to bust your ass. So I was in there, I was squatting, I put in the work, bending barbells on my back, got my new Chuck T's, Chuck Taylor's high tops today. So happy, ooh, felt so good. Added 50 pounds to my squat just by doing that. Don't even get me started what I had to wear beforehand the last couple weeks. Sneakers, eh, no good. But anyway, there's this dude. What got, this is what got me fired up. There's this dude on the leg press. Probably 200 pounds or so. Probably 15 plus percent body fat. Like he had muscle at one point, but now he's got the boo belly. You know what that is? Big puffy nips, big fat belly sticking out of his shirt, boob, belly, he's got that, my word, patented, boom. So anyway, what's he doing? He's on his phone, he's sitting on the leg press machine. Now this is a leg press machine that I like to use. I like to warm up on it. Do 20, 50 reps or so, just get good, easy blood flow. When I walk in the gym, do a little high incline treadmill, 10 minutes, walk in, heart rate up, good blood flow. Wanna go on my leg press machine, my leg press machine. And he's sitting on there, texting, doing whatever he's doing. Pissed me off. So anyway, I go hit my bodyweight squat warm-ups, playing barbell on my back. I go through my sets, max out, feel awesome. I go back to my leg press machine now, which I'm going to use as an ancillary exercise. I really want to go high rep, put some blood in there, hammer, crush my legs. This dude is still sitting on my leg press machine. And what is he doing? He's... Drop setting, half the stack, down to a quarter of the stack, grunting and groaning. Now, I stack it for reps. I'm a fucking strong dude. Boom. But it's, a, it's, it's, it's not one of those machines. It's not a, a, a Chris Cormier, Dorian Yates, adding plates to the sides, stopping the gym type of leg press motion. It's a good pumping leg press really smooth mode of action it, it, it's a good it's a warm-up and a finisher it's not something you want to go hard and heavy on there's other leg press machines for that plate loaded this is just a, a traditional cable stack he's screaming his head off and then he's taking five minute breaks typing on his cell phone so i walk over i look at him He's there, he's on his phone, he's looking up at the TV, he's looking at the stack. Now, I don't see a bead of sweat on this dude. I'm drenched, pouring in sweat. He was there on the leg press before he even got to the gym. I'm finished my first core exercise, I'm moving on, pouring in sweat. My heart rate's up to 168 to 172 beats. And this douchebag's sitting there pissing me off. So what do I do? I circle over, I go back to one of the heavier leg press machines. And that's okay. 
because I like to go heavy. I put on four, four to six, four sets, four plates, five plates, six plates on each side. I bang out good smooth sets of 12, nothing too crazy, but it was a good hard push. My legs were crushed from the squats. I go back over to that area where all the machines are. And now this dude, he's finally off the leg press and he's sitting at the leg extension machine, of course. And he's on the phone. He's got the Bluetooth thing going on. I'm over on the leg curl machine now. And he's talking to somebody, sounds like his girl. And what is he talking about? He's saying, I don't know if it was meant for me to hear because there was other, there's a couple, you know, hardcore dudes that are training their asses off in my gym, in this gym. And uh, we're all annoying at him. You kind of, you know, everyone keeps to their self, but at the same time, you see this dickhead over there. And I hear him say to his girl, he's like, yeah, everybody's looking at me, you know, wondering why I'm not sweating. But this is my third workout today. And I just shake my head. Dude, you got the boo belly. Three workouts looking like that at that pace, that level of intensity. Come on, bro. Third workout, what'd you do? You sat on the, 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 the recumbent bike for 15 minutes. Was that workout one? Workout two was, uh, I don't know, some maybe some cable tricep pushdowns, some machine bench press that was workout two maybe, or maybe some 12 ounce curls while watching the game today. Needless to say, guys, moral of this story is you gotta squat. You wanna add strength, you wanna add size, you wanna build confidence and really create that infrastructure for all future success, whether it be as an athlete, whether it be as a competitor, fitness, bodybuilding, what have you, whether it is a sexy beast walking the planet, or whether it's longevity and function, you have to squat. That is the granddaddy of all exercises, the squat, the deadlift, the chin up, the dip, those are my primaries right there. Those are the most important resistance exercises. But the granddaddy, the father of them all, is the squat, the barbell squat. Now go look up Tom Platts, some of the best thighs in all of bodybuilding, genetically gifted, yes, but that dude paid his dues at the squat rack. Arnold Schwarzenegger, we all know, skinny legs in the beginning. What did he do? He paid his dues at the squat rack. Whether you're genetically gifted or genetically challenged, you have to squat. Whether you're a linebacker in the NFL, you're a CrossFit competitor or a bikini chick, you have to squat to get that shape, that fullness, that roundness, that tight psh, rear end, you have to squat. Sprinters, athletes, you have to squat. Put a barbell on your back, awesome. If you have an injury, an issue, a problem, Smith Machine, okay, Dorian Yates, Mr. Olympia, he went to a Smith Machine after a little while, he had some knee issues, that's okay, but he built his legs, the foundation through decades of squatting, barbell squatting. There's multiple hybrids of the squat. Start with a bodyweight squat. If you can't do 100 bodyweight squats with perfect form on your heels, knees don't float forward, head up at a 45 degree angle, proper spinal alignment, then you have no business adding resistance anyway. 100 non-stop bodyweight squats to depth. That's hip joint coming equal to the top of your knee. If you can't do that, you're not conditioned to do squats anyway. If you fall off balance, pitch forward, you have muscular imbalances that need to be addressed before you add resistance. So that's your homework, everybody. I wanna see 100 nonstop, perfect form, bodyweight squats. If you can bang those out, then it's time to put that barbell on your back with perfect form and pay your dues. So remember, you don't know squat if you're not squatting. And remember, guys, don't count calories. Make calories count. Boom!